Yo, what is up, everybody? Jumping here, yeah, and I am back on some Bloodborne, and I am reliving the dream. Alrighty, well, I am going to go back to the Gravity Tower. That's what I always called this. This is a couple things I've figured out, because in the last episode, I actually, like, kind of rage quit. Because this is really making me mad, okay? It really did. So... I'm gonna try to get it done now. I did also look up the proper way, I guess. I, I guess it's the proper way of like getting to the ancient workshop. So we're gonna do that. And I think the reason why I was struggling so bad, more than anything with this tower, is the fact that I couldn't see. And because I'm so stupid and I didn't think about it, and after watching the video I noticed, ah oh, yeah, there's a torch. And it makes it a lot easier to see stuff below you when you actually have this torch. I guess technically not here, but maybe later on. Okay, so that's the spot right there we need. We need that spot. We need as much health as possible too, by the way. Oh, God. I do remember, like, I do think you need a lot of health for this. Okay, but yeah, the secret is, I guess, to roll towards the ropes. Like, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, God. Ah, oh, man. I, I'm scared of this gravity, man. There's gonna be gravity non-stop in this episode. All right, come on, let's go! All right, oh, I got it, I got it. I got it, let's go. I'm hoping this will make it easier to hop down as well. I think it does. Oh, it does. Oh, thank you so much, it does. Now I don't have to go the other way. At least I don't think so. All right, let's come in here. And there is a... Lantern in here as well, I believe so we could teleport here anytime we want the main thing here is actually the Stuff okay, there's that oh, that's important for like one of the endings um, There is some armor here, right? Yeah, I thought you get it from the corpse. Is it here? Okay, the old hunter bone. I don't remember that so much. Okay. Here's a chest. So this is the armor and yeah Oh, that's so great, man. I'm so happy. I don't have to actually make that stupid jump. So, honestly, coming here might be better. Just because I definitely felt like that jump was a lot easier to make than the other stuff I was doing in the last episode. I mean, I was walking on the wall at one point. It was so dumb. All right. But, yeah, you know, the, the worst thing, too, was the fact that the stupid freaking werewolf guy killed me. And he killed me in a corner, of course. And, you know, a lot of times it's because I'm being dumb. Because I should just spam the hell out of them, you know, instead of just, like, trying to parry and everything. Come on, bitch. Come on. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Easy peasy, motherfucker. All right. That's the thing. He is really easy to parry when he does that particular attack. But we also get the beast rune, which is another thing I didn't actually do. I forgot to actually look into this. Like, how to actually apply the runes. Oh, I remember now. Oh, I'm saying this. I didn't look into this, but I just remembered. I think there's, like, something in the dream. I'll check it out next time I go there. It's next to the workshop. There's, like, a... It's not a bench, but... Kind of like another workshop. A pedestal where you can apply the runes. So, I'm gonna look at that. Alright, there's a bunch of enemies down here, if I remember. So, let's actually start murdering stuff. And I... I think there's not really much here, you know? I, oh, God, there we go with the emotes, you know? Oh, you know what? There's, like, a poison jewel or something? There's actually a decent jewel, I think, over in this area somewhere. So I do want to get that because that might be helpful, you know? All right, murder all these guys. God, okay. The running attack on this uh, on this weapon is so good, man. Like, just run it up, smacking them, and then spam it afterwards. Now, here's the thing. I have the Ludwig Greatsword, okay? That's an elemental rune I just picked up, or gem I just picked up. Which, if I remember right, those are not that good. They can be good when you stack them, but right now in the game, I don't think that's good. But, I have the Ludwig great sword which i could use and that might be absolutely epic you know because everybody loves that weapon i like that weapon too oh my god get up my face that's a lot of enemies okay oh 
Okay, I thought this place was gonna be easy peasy. I guess I was wrong. Oh my god, snatch your piece of shit! Leave me alone, leave me alone! I wanna parry that thing again. Okay, stupid dog, man! Stupid, stupid dog! Oh my god! You know what's funny, by the way? I went and checked out that first playthrough, and I don't know, the deja vu moment didn't actually happen where I thought it would. It might have been another playthrough where that happened. I really, really had deja vu of that exact moment in the last episode happening where I died and I said I was going to come back. It was really like a nothing moment, but it was like real strong at the moment. So I brought it up, right? Well, I went back and I watched like a little bit of my very first like uh, let's play of this game. And I was watching me do Gravity Tower, basically, like this whole area. And you know what's kind of funny? I think I was better. <laughs> Like, I'm dead serious. I think I was actually better uh, then than I am now. Like, I'm actually playing a lot worse. Because I was doing some, some cool-ass combos and shit, man. Like, I was doing some badass combos. I was like, holy shit, man. I was using the hammer. I was like, damn, bro. Oh, my God, the weapon's broken. Okay, I have to remember that. Like, I'm always forgetting, dude. Oh, my God, stop kicking me in the face. God, every single guy. You know what? I think that's what it is. Using the buff messes with the... Yeah, that's probably what it is. It messes with the durability. That's why... Because this is this thing keeps like wanting to break on me. It sucks. I don't know. Maybe I will use the luck with great sword. Because I have the option to, but I might not. Man, I'm going off topic all over the place in this episode. All right, let me, let me finish what I was saying, though. Let me finish that because I brought it up. Yeah, in that original like let's play in that at least in that episode i was using like the hammer man oh man i was kicking ass with that thing man i was doing cool ass combos and stuff it was like actually really cool you know and watching like my gameplay now i'm like god i suck ass dude like what's wrong with me in comparison could just be i'm not playing these games as much like these dark souls games i don't know all right well let me go back to the hunter's dream i'm gonna mess with those runes but also I am going to... I don't know what else I'm going to do. I'm going to do something. And then we actually have to go back to that one spot. Where it's going to be a lot easier now that I do not have insight. So that is what we're going to do. So I'm going to cut this ahead. And I'm going to see you guys in a moment. Alrighty. Well, I am back and mistakes were made. I actually did not teleport to the other spot which is a bummer because if I die, it's gonna keep putting me all the way back here, so. I don't know, maybe I'll go back and teleport again, but I'm too lazy now. And without those stupid things spawning, I probably will beat this area and not die. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I remembered as well what I needed to do back at the dream. I had to repair my weapon, dude. Like, god damn, I forgot about that. So that was important. And also, yeah, I can't use the runes yet because I think this area I'm going to now will unlock the ability for me to actually use that, like, workbench or whatever that's called. I don't know. The place where I can apply the runes, I need to get something for that. And I think it's in this area coming up that I'm going to. So that's cool. And bringing up my original Let's Play. So that's, like, my first playthrough, right? And the thing was, I never, like, with the Dark Souls games and stuff, I never would cheat. I would always, like, you know, really try to do, like, the entire thing and not, like, play it. Like, with friends or something. Because, you know, a lot of times, you know, you have friends who play the games. And they'll want to do co-op and stuff. And I'm like, well, you know, I, I can't, man. Like, I can play with you a little bit. But I don't want to, like, spoil stuff for myself for my, my let's play, you know? Because I want to be legitly surprised by stuff. So that's what I was doing. And the thing was is that... So that's my first... Like, that that was my first playthrough. And I brought this up before on how, like, man, I suck. And, um, you know, I'm kind of going through blood vials a lot. And I'm not used to this. I'm not used to having this happen. And I don't think that this has happened to me... Maybe outside of my first playthrough. Well, guess what? Watching that video, I actually say at one point, I had max blood vials. Now, I don't know what that means exactly. I believe I actually had like hundreds and hundreds 
a blood vial and bullets and everything. I probably farmed for it, to be honest, because that was kind of the thing. If I wasn't recording and I didn't want to, like, spoil the game, I probably was farming stuff. Like, I don't know. But, yeah, so that was not a problem for me, having blood vials, where in this playthrough so far, man, it's been a problem. I mean, look at it. I have fucking six right now. To be honest with you, though, this area coming up, this area... Oh, wow, nice. This area is great. Like, if I remember right, this was a really good area for getting blood vials. Like, there's a whole, like, section where there's, like, a million enemies, and you can easily kill them all. And then, once you do that, they all, like, will drop, like, some blood vials. Oh, my God! Stings, bro! Stop! Jesus. All right, give me that. I mean, bullet-wise, I'm good, right? I think. And speaking of which, I believe I got everything in this area. I wasn't paying attention too much because I was just running around killing stuff and talking about some bullshit. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's right. There's still more. We're not, we're not done yet. All right. We are not done yet. And there's some big guys coming up, if I remember. And this is, is it a village? This is like a, something. Like, it's, it might be a village. I don't remember exactly what this is. I remember there's like maybe some rooftops or something here. I don't even know the name of this place, to be honest with you. But this is an optional area. I think. Is it? Ah, oh, yeah, it's Hemwick. All right. Um, is this optional? See, I don't know. No, yeah, this is optional. All right, it's, it's optional because the real way is the password door. That's what it is, and I did check that. I went and checked it to, to make sure that's what I got. And yeah, it, it was, oh, I, I think I did that in the last episode. I don't remember. Either I did it when I wasn't recording or I did it in the last episode. I don't know. But I checked it, and yeah, I have the password, and that's the right way to go, okay? So all this is extra. But yeah, this place is great, because these stupid women, they drop a lot of blood vials. Oh, oh god, oh god. That one's scary. And there's a guy in a house. Oh, yeah, they drop decent gems, too. That's a good one. This guy in the house, doesn't he give you something or something's up? Come on, bruh. Talk to me. Talk to me! You know what? Maybe you have to be a dick? I don't remember. That might be what it is. You have to be, like, a murderer or something. Like, when I say that, you gotta kill NPCs. I, I, I don't know. Like, I don't really remember. I'm just speculating. I'll be honest. I have a bad habit of doing that. Alright. Um, pick up all the stuff. And, yeah. So, I think it's coming up here. Like, that's not even the best spot. Like, that's an okay spot there, but... I think, I think it's over here somewhere where there's, like, so many of them. And, yeah, this place is hell, dude. Because the entire time... Oh, my God. The entire time you're running through this place, you have, like, 50 of those stupid guys spawn and trying to murder you because of the insight. So having the insight punishes you. Here, at least, you know. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you know, I've released the first... Uh, oh, God. I've released now the first couple episodes of this, and, um, you know, you guys have been commenting, and I knew this was gonna happen, you know, people are telling me, like, what's up, and, you know, I'm pretty far ahead of it, and, the, but the funny thing is, is that, you know, there is still, like, things that I'm reading, I'm going, oh, okay, and I haven't even thought of it yet, and I'm, like, so far ahead, and one of those things is actually the hand that picks you up, so, yeah, somebody brought that up, that that's the DLC, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, the hand that picks you up is the DLC. One of those fucking hands, I think it's the one by the, right next to the, uh, the Cathedral Ward. That one is the one that takes you to the Old Hunter DLC. So, yeah. Now, at the same time, I kind of remember that always being there, though. Let me know that now. Like, was that stupid hand guy, the alien dude who picked you up, was he always there? Or did they add him there for the DLC? Because, um, I kind of remember him picking you up and, uh, just, like, dropping you off or whatever, maybe? I don't know. He did something, maybe. And then, like, when the DLC came out, that was your way of getting to the DLC. Because the other guy, the other hand guy, um... 
in the other spot where you have to like go where there's like those really overpowered NPCs. Oh God! Fucking scary shit, man. So there's those uh, overpowered NPCs, right? Like in that area, those ones, um, that one is for the story. Like that's for like a later area in the story. One of the only places that is good for PvP. That's the thing, like, you know, I, I complained about that in the first episode. And I've been trying not to, like, bitch about certain things, but... You know, that's... I really want to make that clear. Like, that's the biggest problem with the PvP system in this game, is that there was really only two areas in the entire game. And that's the crazy thing. In the DLC, they didn't even, like... They didn't even, like, add a new area. So there is still just two areas in the game where you can invade people without them needing to ring the stupid bell first. You know, because in Dark Souls... Like, in Dark Souls 1, you had to be human. Which, to, if you're a human, you're probably going to try to be doing co-op, but not necessarily. You might just want to look human and not look undead. That was something, so... I could invade you if that was the case. In Dark Souls 2, you could basically be invaded no matter what. Um, that was a thing. And, well, unless the boss was dead. Like, if the boss was dead, you couldn't. But if the boss was alive, even if you were, like, dead or hollow, you could still be invaded. But, yeah, in this game, basically the way that it works, and I think it's the same, by the way, with um, Dark Souls 3. It's, it's, you have to be, you have to use an ember. So you gotta kind of, like, be human or on fire, whatever they call that. Kindled, I don't fucking know. But that's what you have to be to be invaded in Dark Souls 3, I think. I could be wrong on that, because, you know, you know me. I'm not a big fan. I, I For whatever reason, does that game and me, we don't get along very well. We don't gel, okay? But this game, oh, God, you know? Not only do you have the bell system, no signs, no nothing like that, but then the, the, the worst thing is, is that to even, like, start the process, you have to ring the bell. So there's two areas, essentially. Oh, God! Okay. There's two areas in the entire game where you can just be invaded. Like, if you're, you're if you're in the area, you can be invaded. And you could stop it by killing a bell lady. So it's like a lady. So you could go and run and find her and murder her. And then, boom. You don't have to worry about that. And the bell lady also spawns whenever you ring the bell. Now, they would have designed it so that... Maybe not every area, but a lot of areas would have those bell ladies automatically spawn in. And I don't know, you could put the bell lady in the same spot every time. Because, you know, like, maybe, like, at first, it's like, oh, this is annoying because I'm being invaded. But then it's like, okay, now I know where the bell lady is, so I'm going to really be quick. I'm going to go and get that bell lady, and I'm not going to be invaded. I don't know. Like, but that was the problem, just getting matches. Getting PvP matches in this game. Was, was so bad dude because it was it was blood level and bell system so it was like double like restrictive and uh yeah it was not good and that's the thing like as much as i can always complain about soul memory and, and dark souls 2 like i'll be honest i don't ever remember having problems getting matches in dark souls 2 you know until the game completely died like i never had an issue you know getting matches being invaded invading other people it was always consistent you know but the, the main problem with that game, the big complaint always, it really, honestly, Soul Memory, like, worked fine, like I said. It's just that the problem was, is, like, once you hit, like, 13 million, that's when it was like, all right, you're in the big boy league. And honestly, if you don't want to just level up to max, if you want to, like, try to restrict yourself or to be, like, a level 150 or, or 200 or whatever, right? If you don't want to just be max level and have no build, because that's the thing, right? There was no builds in Dark Souls 2 once you got to that point because the meta was to just be max, basically. Put on Havel's shit and be max in Dark Souls 2. That was the meta. And that was the... That was... Oh, God! Okay, well, I lived. Not for long, though. The fuck was that, dude? Jesus! I'm so dead! The, the sound! It sounds like... God... What is this sound? How many of these fucking things just spam? Oh my god, this is working. This worked like a fucking charm, dude. Die, please. Stop throwing shit at me. 
fucking hit this stupid thing and d ah! Okay, who's throwing the shit? Fuck you! Die! What the fuck was I even talking about now? I don't even remember, man. <sighs> oh yeah, we were talking about Dark Souls too. All right, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, right? But that's how it goes with these games, man. I'm talking about something, you know, and then all of a sudden it's like, what the fuck? And I'm, I'm raging and I'm fucking yelling and, and, and I'm getting, but I'm getting fucked. That's the thing. I was getting, I was literally getting destroyed there. Like, I don't even know what happened. Something hit me, knocked me off, and then all hell broke loose at that point. That was awesome. Awesomely hilarious and terrible at the same time. All right, we gotta kill this guy. Oh, baby! I like that! Oh, you dead, too. Holy... Oh, no, you're not. Okay, very close, though. Very close, very close. All right, come on. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch, come on! Oh, God, okay, I suck. I've been doing pretty good. I've been doing okay. Ah, uh, come on, come on. Dude, uh, No! Oh, God, oh, God. Okay, but let's be careful here. I want, I want to continue talking about Dark Souls 2, man. I really do. You know, because I want to I want to make this point. I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, God, no. no. I, 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 there's a gate coming up here. God damn it. You know what? what? Why? Why do I do that? Why do I torture myself? I mean, look at that. Two hits. Bam. He's dead. Like, why am I sitting there trying to parry the fucking guy and failing? I'm a dummy! Like, what's wrong with me? Like, seriously, this thing is overpowered. Use it. Anyway. So, yeah, okay. Um, the problem with Dark Souls 2, okay? The problem, with, the problem with Soul Memory was just the big boy league, you know? Like, I, I just always hated that. Like, because, you know, it was really easy to hit 12 or 13 million. Like, you got there pretty quick. Like, the moment you got to New Game Plus, like, a little bit into New Game Plus, you were at that point, and... You know, it was a struggle. And they eventually came out with the, uh, a gate ring, a gap ring, whatever the fuck that thing was called. And that thing, like, fixed the problem to a certain extent. But then it's like, well, you know, the system was designed to protect lower level players. That's what it was all about. Because in Dark Souls 1, and that was still a thing in the remaster too, which I showed. I made a video about that. You, you know, they try to address it a little bit in the, rema in the remaster, but they didn't do a good job. They did a horrible job, and I was able to invade low-level people, and just, I was so much more overpowered than them, and people were using dark magic to just one-shot people. It was fucking cancer, right? So, you know, that's just the way it was. You know, it's unfortunate, but it was. Uh, but yeah, Soul Memory was meant to protect lower-level players, and... It, you know, it works. It works fine. It's it's good, right? But guess what? The problem was is that I don't think they needed that system. Like once you got to the higher levels of play, you know, at that point, they could have had uh, either much, much, much like, uh, or at least uh, a lot more. Is what I mean. Not much, but a lot more ranges. You know, so it's like I don't know, like. Maybe, like, the highest level people could match more often, and then, like, the lower, like, high level people, because, you know, 150, I think 150 should match with, like, between 150, 300-ish. That's fair, right? You know, or, like, even 400, fine. Whatever, but not fucking max. Like, I'm sorry. But, and that's the thing, it was not even about, because some people are going to say, well, if you're talking about invading, of course, why not, right? Why not? You're invading. You should be punished. Because that's the thing. That's the fucked up thing about Dark Souls, man. There's a lot of people, you know, they hate invaders. They just hate them. They can't stand them. So you can't talk about this stuff without pissing people off. But my point is, is that in Dark Souls 2, you would be invaded. As the host, you're level like 150 or level 200 or whatever it is. And you're being invaded by people who are max level. That's bullshit. I don't care, like, how you feel about it. That was always bullshit in that game. And that happened lot so let me stop talking about dark souls 2 we're playing fucking bloodborne but yeah the main point here was about bloodborne and how the matchmaking was really bad in my opinion and it was so bad it made me actually appreciate dark souls 2 matchmaking and i fucking hated that matchmaking you know i really really did all right
I remember this boss is, is uh, something, right? Is he spawns all over the place. It's It's got like a grab move or something that just fucks you. Oh, that's right. Okay, I remember. Ah, yeah, there we go. It's some. Is this it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, bitch! It's got like a clone. Yeah, it's got like a clone or something, right? And you gotta find... You gotta find that red thing. It's all over the map. Alright, is that right? That's not right. I don't think that's right. But we're gonna... Oh, no, it's right! Okay, swing away, man. You know, stamina is your worst enemy in this fight. Because you just run out, bro. Oh, hello. That's not the right one. That's the wrong one, right? Go away. Um, there it is. I see ya, bitch. Okay, the other thing is coming, but we are gonna spam. Okay, man. I don't remember. Is this thing gonna, like, die, or is it... Oh, God, dude, this weapon, bro. I kinda wanna get the Lugwicks now, dude. It's because of this thing. Oh, man, I'm, like, afraid to attack that one. I wanna find this guy. Where is he? I want this fight to be over because I do not want this weapon to break. But where the fuck is he? Like, this fight's always been kind of annoying just because you gotta find the guy. This is never fun. There we go. That's the wrong one. I see. I think I see it right. I think. No, that's not right. Okay. Ah, uh, fuck. Where the hell is he? There's another fight in this game that is stupid annoying. I hate it. And it's the same type of thing where it's like. It's not as much of a fight as it is, like, a mechanic, kind of. I don't know how to explain it. But it's the fight where you have to chase there. Okay, come on, come on. Wrong fucking one, bro. You know what? I'm going to kill some of these guys. Oh, my God. My weapon's doing no fucking damage now. Holy shit. Oh, hello. Ah, ah, ah. Fuck off. No, he's getting away, you piece of shit. Oh, my God. But, yeah, there's that guy you have to chase. Oh, God! No, no, no. Ah, oh, there he is. I got him. I got him. Come on, come on. Come on, you little bitch. Come on, you little bitch. Come on, die! Are you dead, dead now? Are we Are we done? We're not done. Fuck, we're not done! Why are we not done? Oh, God, that's right! So the two of them are fucking, like... Okay, you gotta kill them both. Ah. All right, where the fuck is this other one now? Anyway... The, the thing is, you gotta chase that guy, right? And I hate chasing that guy. Like, there's ways to cheese him and, like, get him right away. And honestly, that shit is epic if you could do it. But fuck, bro, that shit is annoying, man. Oh, my God, fuck off. Fuck off, just die. Yeah, I see you. I see you, bitch. Get out of here. Don't grab me. Whatever you do, motherfucker. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes! He's dead, right? Why is this thing still alive? Fucking fall over and die. There you go. Hey, that was good timing, actually. <laughs> Alright. Man, I got 38,000 uh, echoes. Epic. Let's go grab this. This is the tool, right? Yeah, this is it, right? Yeah, there it is. The Rune Workshop tool. Now we can mess with that. And I can... I guess I have to go to the password door area, right? That's got to be the next area. Man, see, that's the thing. I don't even remember the boss of that area. I'm trying, like, I'm really trying. Okay, wait. I think I know what it is. It's like, it's three bosses. That's what it is. It's like, it's a gank. The boss of that wooded area, because it's like woods or forest, whatever you want to say. That is like a gank. Yeah, okay, I remember that now. But... That whole area, man. Ooh, man, it's gonna be fun. It's snake hell. Snake fucking hell. All right, well, I'm gonna cut this head, and I will see you guys in a moment. All righty. Well, I think I just got the DLC item. At least whatever you need to get to the DLC. I got the Eye of a Hunter or something like that. I'm assuming that's DLC just because... I just randomly got it from the dream and normally you have to unlock the DLC at a certain point of the game That makes the most sense and check out what I have by the way. I Actually have the Ludwig's greatsword. Oh, yeah, this should be fun, bro I'm actually gonna try to use it right here, bitch. Oh my god that damage that damage is real 
Alright, charge that bitch up. Let's go! Yeah. Man, that's actually a really good attack. That's a really nice attack, is, is that thrusting attack by charging. I, I Honestly, I don't remember doing that much, but yeah. You know, the great thing about this sword is that the one-handed sword, it's quick. The two-handed sword does a crap ton of damage. And it's just, it's a badass weapon. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, this guy, this guy. Man, I gotta kill some of these guys, honestly, to get some, some stock, you know. Drop blood vials, please. Not fucking bullets. Jesus. All right, this guy. So I got this, the plus six. So that's cool. All right, bitch. Just die and I actually have a lot of upgrade materials I was surprised I have so many normal materials at least I did and I also had uh, quite a few of the secondary material the thing is is that you know obviously I'm not gonna be able to upgrade a lot of weapons to plus 10 or to plus like 9 maybe I can some weapons to like multiple like weapons to plus like eight or nine but the chunks like you know the bigger materials those are a lot harder but plus six that's really not that bad i can always just farm for all the materials i really wanted to so i can play around with a lot of these different weapons all right so let's actually go to the password door and let's check this out all right yeah it's open i think i opened it in the last episode and yeah we're gonna come down here i'm probably gonna make it to the shrine I'm not saying shrine the lantern man these games are confusing bro it's like bonfire lantern and then in neo it's a shrine so that's what i'm thinking all right i'm pretty sure one of these paths there's like a path maybe to the left or something where it's like a dead end and there's like an item or something yeah so this place is snake hell it really is like there's some horrific horrific stuff with some snakes here eventually and yeah it's bad man it's real bad and there's been a lot of times where i've been absolutely destroyed in this area ow okay come on come on just die there you go oh my god what is hitting me exactly like who the hell is throwing that who's throwing that oh wow dude jesus i, I really couldn't see him Alright. It's been a minute, too, since I've played with the Lugwit Greatsword, to be honest. Even when I was, you know, playing this game all the time. This was a weapon, like, you know, I used it every once in a while. And, uh... You know, but I, I think it's been a minute since, like, you know, I played with it. Even back then, because... People always, like, wanted me to play with this thing. But I, I never did, just because everybody did. You know, this is such a popular weapon. It's, it's, one, it's up there. It's one of the most popular weapons in the entire game. Like, by far. Alright, bitch. Just die. I always really liked the hammer. Like, I thought the hammer was a lot of fun, to be honest with you. That was, like, probably more my style than this one. I don't even know if I had a PvP build with this weapon, to be quite honest with you. I might not have. Like, I had a hammer build. I had uh, the dual, like, um, daggers. Like, I guess they were, like, daggers. I had, like, the daggers, basically. That was a build I had. I had, of course, the the, the katana builds and the blood tinge builds. And I have already seen people say, you know, hey, I should do, um, katana build or something like that for this playthrough. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, that, the only problem with the blood tinge build, and, and this is a problem with this game, by the way. So, so here's another thing. I just, another little small complaint. But let me finish about the katana build. Let me say that first because I don't want to get too off topic here. But there, I just remembered something that's like really... It's like regressive with this game, you know? I talked about this before and how like FromSoft is like bipolar or something. You just you just never know like what the fuck? Like what's going on here? And this, is a, this game has a lot of that in there. But anyway, uh, the katana builds are so popular, so overpowered. And a lot of people would probably like bitch about that to be honest you know like i don't know like if, if i decided to like do the katana build it's it's like the best build in the game like if i remember right it's one of them for sure the blood tinge builds are just amazing they are super amazing they were always like the best pvp builds 
because not only was the weapon overpowered, but man, the freaking uh, guns, it made the guns overpowered. And the guns, you know, they're, they're fucking guns. Like, you know, come on. Like, you got some range to your build now. And if you use that one item, where it would double the damage of your bullet. I mean, you could hit people so hard with your gun. You could like one shot some people with the gun. It was crazy. Those builds are ridiculous. But, like I said, I just, I don't know. I've done it so many times, and I know, like, there's going to be some people who be like, Ah, it's so boring, man. Like, why do you want to do that? So, no, I don't think I'm doing a blood build. I did see someone, like, you know, say, maybe I should try a poison build. And that sounds kind of fun, maybe. You know, I, I might, you know, look into that. I don't even know what to do. Like, I have no idea. Like, it's been so long. I don't remember things that are poisoned too much in this game. But that does sound like a fun idea. And, you know, that's something I've definitely never done before so that sounds like it could be interesting but now let me talk about something because when i was bringing up the blood build it, it reminded me of something and that is there's no respec option in this game and once again i don't think the dlc added it in which you would think it would now maybe i'm wrong you guys tell me if i'm wrong did the dlc add it in i don't think it did and see the thing is is that that's so crazy because it's like Dark Souls 1, it didn't have a respec, and that was the worst fucking thing. It's so bad, dude. It's like, oh man, why is it not a respec? Every RPG game, no matter what, if it's action RPG, whatever, there should always be a respec option. It's so great, and Dark Souls 2 did this, and it was amazing. It was amazing change they made in Dark Souls 2 was to give players the respec option. And then Bloodborne came out, and they don't have it, you know? So you're like, oh my god, and then Dark Souls 3 comes out, and they have it again. It's like, Miyazaki, man, I, don't, I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. He's like, nah, man, that respect option, that's bullshit, bro. Nah, we're not putting that in Bloodborne. Nah. Oh, jumping with the L3? Oh, that's too easy, man. We want people to fucking fall off and die to gravity. <laughs> we don't want them to make these jumps. You lost your mind? <laughs> like, come on. So, I don't know, that's how I feel. Like, it's crazy. But, yeah, this game... Like, it's kind of, like, regressive at times. Like, at least, not not the game, but FromSoft. They've been a little regressive. Um, okay, hello. Hello, hello. Let me, let me murder you real quick. I want to parry him. I, I actually was going to end this episode, to be honest. And then I started, like, running through this place. I still probably will. Um, but I think I'm going to start the next episode still in this area. All right, because I don't want to go back and have all these enemies respawn since I cleared them all anyway. But yeah, you know, it's man, this weapon's fun. Like it, it is definitely like a lot of fun. Oh my fucking god! On that note, yeah, okay. Did you see that shit? Yeah, I need to end this. Alrighty, guys. Well, I really hope that you have enjoyed it. And if you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future videos. And make sure to click the bell. If you don't have it clicked, you don't get notifications. That's so important. And I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day. And peace out.